Welcome back to Movies with McLean. This is episode 15 of my weekly movie podcast where I talk about movie news and uh, really anything movies. Uh, today, back with me uh, for the first time in a while, um, Michael Magnus and Nick Saganik. How are you guys doing? Pretty, pretty swell. Yeah, great to be back. That's great to have you guys back. Anytime you guys are here, it's a good time. Uh, today, our main topic is Brad Pitt movies. Uh, anything you guys want to say before we get started? Um, the two movies that I have on my list I actually really like. Wait, wait, we're not getting into the Brad Pitt movies. Oh, 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 no, sorry. Hey, hey, slow down. Yeah. My bad. Slow yeah. down. No, I just meant like any any general thing you guys wanted to say. Happy to be here. Okay. Um, have you? It's been a while. Have you guys seen any any big movies since last time you were here? Like I'm trying to think. I think like I definitely have. Batman. Any of those? Um, I know I'm kind of late to see it, but I saw Deadpool over like a couple I weeks ago. I still gotta see that. I gotta see a bunch of movies. I was a big fan of Deadpool. I really liked it. Yeah, I'm glad to hear that. I mean, it's still my favorite movie of the year. Yeah, too. yeah, it was it was a good film. All right. Well, uh, let's get into the news. Uh, trailers, lots of trailers. Um, first one, Jason Bourne trailer dropped uh, mid last week. So, Nick, how about you go first? What are your overall impressions of this new Jason Bourne trailer? I thought it looked sweet. I feel like it picked up, like, right where the, uh, the other, others left off. It looked just like the other ones, and it looked even, like, more intense and pretty... Looks like a pretty great movie. Okay, I gotta watch this again. Those are good. Yeah, I haven't seen the Jason Bourne movies, but um, from what you guys have been telling me and from that trailer, I really should watch them and then go see this new one when it comes out. Yeah, I mean, I definitely do think you should watch them. Um, I think what this, well, this is the first, like, full trailer. We saw that TV spot at the Super Bowl. Yeah. But um, we saw a lot of action in here, and then um, I thought it was really sweet. Like, we saw him drive through that, like, in that big car and th- throw all those yeah, cars to the side. Up, yeah. But yeah. then he, like, was shooting also with that shotgun. It was pretty sweet. Yeah. And then we got the first uh, shot of... Now Academy Award winner Alicia Vikander, who we hadn't seen any uh, footage of her yet in there, so that was pretty cool to see. Um, I liked the line that um, Tommy Lee Jones's character said to him about like, uh, "You're never gonna have like peace until you admit what you are," and then it showed him like knocking that guy. Yeah, out. yeah. Um, so yeah, it was a pretty great trailer, and I'm a huge fan of the other um, Bourne films. Um, yeah, anything else from on that trailer from you guys? Were all the sequels, like, good, or were, like, uh, some of them below average? I thought, well, okay, they did the three with Matt Damon, and yeah, then they did was... the, the Jeremy Renner one, which was a different character. It wasn't Jason Bourne, uh... but it took place in the same, like, world. Like, they, they didn't get Matt Damon back, so they are like, we're going to tell a story with this other character, but they still had a lot of references to Jason Bourne. Yeah. And it was a fine movie, but compared to the others, it wasn't. Uh, as good, but uh, they got the same director back who did the second and third ones, and um, I thought all three of the originals were really good. So, yeah, they were, the ones with Matt Damon were all good. I'll probably check out the ones with Matt Damon. Did you not like the one with Jeremy Renner? No, like it, like I said, like I liked it. It just wasn't like as good as the others. Um, yeah. Yeah. Moving on, uh, next trailer, Independence Day Resurgence. This is like second or third trailer for this. Um, Oh, also, Jason Bourne comes out July 29th, 2016. So, Independence Day Resurgent trailer. Uh, Nick, what are your thoughts on this? Um, I mean, I didn't think it looked that great. It looked like they were just trying to, like, reference, like, the old movie a lot. And it seemed like the acting wasn't that great. Like, what's the one guy's name? The, he has the brother. Oh, uh, Liam Hemsworth. Yeah, Liam yeah. Hemsworth. Some of the stuff he said, I was like, what is this guy doing? He's but, like, definitely, like, so, like, beneath Chris Hemsworth. Yeah, 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 yeah. But I mean, I mean, maybe I'd see it, but I wouldn't like. I don't think I would enjoy it that much, unless it had like a really good plot, which I'm figuring it doesn't. <laughs> yeah, um, I mean, I, I really enjoy the first Independence Day. Yeah, yeah, oh yeah, yeah, no, the original's good. And I'll still definitely see this. I don't know how good it'll be. I have, I have like, average uh, expectations. Um, I don't think it'll be like bad, but probably just like a, a kind of nonsense action movie with like. Not a whole lot of plot, but yeah. still a fun movie. I mean, that's kind of what um, all of this 
director's movies are this uh, Roland Emmerich yeah so I'll, I look forward to it yeah like it. Um, probably will not see this movie um, I did like the first Independence Day but this looks like it might ruin the name for me even though Independence Day is the greatest day of all time um, July 4th 1776 and if you don't like Independence Day turn off this podcast right now <laughs> Yes. Um, the real Independence Day, not, like, the movie. Yeah, I know, I know. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right, then. Uh, anything else about the Independence Day trailer? Yeah, not going to check that one. All right. Yeah. Uh, we got the last trailer, X-Men Apocalypse. They said this is their final trailer. So uh, I'm just going to warn you guys, there was a quick mini-spoiler, so if you don't want to hear about a mini spoiler from X-Men Apocalypse that was in the trailer, skip ahead like a couple minutes. So, um, that being said, the spoiler is that Wolverine, we saw a quick shot of him. Not not too surprising, he makes a cameo in all of these movies, yeah. but um, uh, that was pretty cool to see. So, Michael, what were your thoughts on the trailer? Um, it looks good. These movies really just confuse me a lot. I've seen probably like two of them. Not really sure which ones I've seen. Not really sure like the timeline of where those are. But like I've seen them. I kind of enjoyed them for like what I knew what was going on. But like I I might see this maybe. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, like you, I've only seen a couple, and I mean, I I think they all look pretty good. Um. And especially this one looks uh, really good. Um, it is sort of hard to get into. Like, if you haven't seen the others, I, I would assume. Um, I actually tried to get into the X-Men comic books, too. And I, I was so a little confusing, but I really enjoyed them. So, um, yeah, I mean, I'm looking forward to the movie. And uh, I think Hugh Jackman is, like, the perfect Wolverine. And even if he's in this for just the smallest amount, that, that excites me. And we saw a lot of action in this trailer that we hadn't seen before. Nick, what do you think? Yeah, I mean, I also thought the X-Men whole, like, movies were very confusing. I think I've seen, like, a part of, like, every single X-Men, but I never know what's going on. How many movies even are there? Is this, like, the, like, the seventh? Uh, it depends, like, what you count as an X-Men movie. Yeah. Because, like, they made the three original ones, yeah. and then they made, like, Origins Wolverine, which And then, like, Days of Future Past. Like, yeah, well, that one so I heard many. was, like, really good. Really? Yeah. Like, I, I don't know. I've never seen that. I think I've seen Origins. Okay. When that come out, like like two thousand nine or something like that. Ah, uh, yeah, I don't even know. I think it was like two, three years ago, maybe. Yeah, that would not have been two thousand and nine, though. Yeah. Well, we're not the best experts on the X Men movies, <laughs> but I think we like the trailer, right? Yeah. Correct. I wish I could get into it though. I just feel like all the movies. There's like so many movies, and they're so long. It's like I just don't even feel like putting the time in. Yeah. All right. Uh, that's it for the trailer news, but. Uh, we have two more news stories. One pretty big news uh, piece. Uh, Tony Stark or Iron Man, whichever you want to call him, Robert Downey Jr., has been confirmed to make an appearance in Spider-Man Homecoming, which comes out next year, July 7, 2017. So we're getting Iron Man in the Spider-Man movie. Thoughts, Michael? Yeah, I'm looking forward to that. I think that would be like a really good twist to the Spider-Man um I think that lately they kind of been getting like the same thing happening, but right. yeah, I think Iron Man will be good to throw in there and mix things up a little bit. Yeah, Nick, what do you think? So, are they gonna have the same Spider-Man that's gonna be in the new uh, Avengers in the yeah, Homecoming? Yeah, Civil War. Yeah, Is that the guy that looks like Dominguez. Well, I mean, it's he's in the Spider-Man game. costume, so I mean, but like, oh, uh, so we don't know. Well, I mean, I mean, like we, I mean, like you can look up the guy. Like, yeah, I don't know exactly what he looks like, but it's a guy that like has been playing Spider Man. It wasn't the no, it's not, not the no, not that guy. Guy. So yeah. it's not Dominguez. Yeah. I, I I didn't know that Andrew Garfield was Dominguez. <laughs> he looks like Dominguez. I guess he kind of does, but no, it's not Andrew Garfield. They got a new guy. Um, he's like he's like a he's like nineteen. So, really? Yeah, pretty cool. Right. Actually, have a I think I'll keep him in high school. So that's cool. Be, I like that. Yeah, that is that is good. I'd like to see, like, well, I mean, obviously from the trailer it looks like Spider-Man is Team Iron Man. So yeah. Maybe Iron Man will be, like, sort of mentoring him and, like, equipping him with, like, tech and stuff. Yeah, not that. Yeah. Um, to me, good. So I I think this is, uh, it It makes sense for him to make an appearance it, of any, because they said, like, a couple of weeks ago that there was going to be, like, some other Avengers in it. Yeah. And, like, I think Iron Man makes the most sense to be in it. And also, I, I 
like to see as much um, of Tony Stark as I can get because he uh, probably won't be in these movies for too much longer. Yeah. Robert Downey Jr. is 51. Yeah, he's so, getting pretty old. Um, is he 51? Yeah. Really? Jeez. I mean, all he has to do is, like, have his face, though, because it's just, like, the, yeah, it's the animation of the flying suit. But, all right. Uh, last piece of news. Michael, I know this excites you. Daddy's Home is getting a sequel. So, I know you were a big fan of the first Daddy's Home. Uh, how do you feel about this? Oh, I'm looking forward to it, but I don't I don't think it'll be nearly as good. I think I know what it will consist of. Cons- like, the way they set it up at the end with John Cena and Mark Wahlberg. Um, I think it's kind of obvious where they're going to go with it, but I guess you'd have to see the first one to kind of know what I'm talking about. Yeah, I didn't even know that John Cena was in the movie. It's like at the very end, like it like sets yeah, well, it, it sets up this the sequel. <laughs> okay, well I, that doesn't sound very good, John Cena. <laughs> yeah, I don't, yeah, I don't think it'll be very good. Uh, what was that one movie he was in with? Amy Schumer. He was kind of funny in that. Have you seen that? I heard that was funny. He was kind he was kind of funny in that when there was a movie theater. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. i He's got like he's getting like his own television series on <laughs> USA or something. Yeah, I saw something about that, but yeah, the whole John Cena John thing Cena. kind of been taken yeah. a little too far. Yeah, but I mean, yeah, you know. yeah, he was doing like action movies with like, twelve rounds. Yeah, that movie was terrible. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they made like two sequels to that too. The WWE, like they make them with WWE stars. Yeah, it's they made bad. A Dean Ambrose one. I actually. <laughs> I'm a Dean Ambrose fan, though. So he, rep- he represents Cincinnati. Uh, all right. Well. Dean so, Ambrose. Um, Respect. All right, that's it for the news. Moving on, our main topic, Brad Pitt movies. Now, Michael, you can go ahead and you know what? say what your first uh, Brad Pitt movie you want to I discuss. I kind of ruined this earlier. I ruined the hype of my two movies. Even though they're, not, they're just kind of like average movies, but I really like them. Um, the first one we'll talk about is Moneyball. Um, I like Moneyball. I think it's pretty good. I think it does a good job of representing the athletics and their time of struggle. Um, I, I don't know what year that was, like 99, maybe 2000, um, around then. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. yeah it was when they sucked. They still aren't very good. But um, I thought it was really cool to see Brad Pitt, Jonah Hill, baseball. Um, I really like the way that they flash back and forth, like, between, like, Brad Pitt and kind of, like, what he was thinking and then, like, why he was thinking that, like, back, like, why, like, when he, when he was playing and that kind of stuff. Yeah, I didn't ever see Moneyball, but, I mean, it, it looked really good. Um, I love sports movies, and um, it was the first time Jonah Hill got an Oscar nomination. I'm sure he was pretty good, and Brad Pitt as well. Um, it looked like a good, uplifting sports movie that I think I would enjoy if I saw it. So. Yeah, you'd like it, because it, com- it combines sports and, like, having knowledge about, like, statistics and stuff like that, and I think it's, because they do a good job of doing that in the movie, yeah, it's a good movie. What do you, what do you think of it, Nick? I thought it was good also, yeah, I thought, I thought Jonah Hill was, like, just, like, funny, just because, I was, like, back when Jonah Hill was still kind of fat, you know, that was, that was the good Jonah Hill, yeah, yeah. and, uh, him and Brad Pitt, it's a, it's a nice little team right I think there. he looks kind of fatter, like, in that movie than, like, his other, like, yeah, yeah, he does, like, like, it looks like he gained some weight <laughs> for that role, yeah, 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 um, Okay, uh, Nick, what's the first one you wanted to talk about? Um, I guess I'll talk about Fight Club. Okay. That movie was crazy, and, uh, I just, I really liked Brad Pitt in that movie, he was a good actor, and, uh, the twist at the end of that movie was insane. <laughs> oh, you, you should have seen it coming, though. I mean, yeah, come oh on. yeah, <laughs> come on. <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, I love Fight Club as well, I think it's a great movie, um, I haven't read the book, but I, I think it's, I've heard it's a pretty good adaptation from the book. Good. And, um, yeah, I mean, Ed Norton's also really good. Yeah, I and, love Ed Norton. And, um, and also Helena Bonham Carter. Um, but it, it's just, like, an awesome movie, like, to watch with guys, just be like, yeah, Fight Club. But then also, <laughs> yeah. like, it's got, like, a, some deeper meanings in it. Yeah. Um, so, I mean, it's a, it's a great movie all around. I love it. Uh, it's actually, like, one of the highest rated movies of all time on really? IMDb, but, like, that, that's, like, that's, like, fanboy yeah. stuff. Yeah. Like, but, I mean, people really love Fight Club, and I, I love it also. Yeah, Michael, it, just, it gets crazy at the end. <laughs> yeah, like, it does. At the end, you're just like, it what does. is going yeah. on? I've not seen Fight Club. <laughs> you, you should you definitely need to get on that. Yeah, I'm sorry, guys. I'll, I'll check it out eventually. Just add it to my list, you know. Yeah. Get the mental list going. Not like you and have a physical list, but... 
Yeah, um, I mean, I, I, the end is pretty crazy. I, I really like that uh, song they play at the very end. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. When like the yeah. when the the building. Yeah, when they're sitting that, in the all, building. That's yeah. all I'll say. But, for me. Um, I don't, I don't know if the words. Um, I just it's I a forget good song. it. Yeah, it is pretty good. Song. Um, yeah, we can't really talk too much about it without spoiling it. Um, for Michael. Yeah. Everyone who's watching this has probably seen it. Yeah. But yeah. um. I guess, we'll, unless you had anything else to say, we'll move on from that. Do you? I don't have anything else. Okay. Um, I'll take seven, then, for my first one. Uh, David Fincher directed. Also, he did Fight Club. Uh, it's a pretty messed up movie. Um, a lot of yeah. gruesome um, crimes occurring. But uh, you really care about um, Brad Pitt's character and Morgan Freeman's character. And, I mean, it's a really sad and um that's all i'll say about yeah it's kind of depressing thing um kevin spacey's pretty creepy and i mean it's a dark movie very dark but um it's a very good movie as well um have you seen it michael yeah another movie that i have not seen um from the sounds of it sounds kind of dark and not really my kind of movie but i do like morgan freeman do like brad pitt but just don't don't really know from the sounds of it. I mean, yeah, I kind of just touched on it being dark. I don't know, maybe... Uh, it's a really good movie, though, yeah. Anything else? Um, What's in the box? <laughs> yeah. That's, I mean, it gets made fun of for that, but I mean... Yeah, like, it's like an good. intense part of the movie. Yeah, <laughs> it is. And you're making a joke for that. I mean, um, it's kind of funny. Kind of disrespectful. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's, a, it's a good mystery. Um, good uh, cop thriller. So yeah. Good cop, bad cop. No. <laughs> Mike, what's your next movie? Uh, the next movie I actually saw with Andrew is The Big Short. Um, Brad Pitt's character, I actually had to ask Andrew which one he was, just to clarify again. But, like, it's not really a huge role for him, but it's a good role. Um, the guy doesn't necessarily have the most scenes in the movie. His name's the Ben, right? I think that was yeah, it. Yeah, Ben. Um, but he kind of plays a key part in the whole purpose of the big short and just kind of a general knowledge of what's going on without actually knowing what the two kids that he's like mentoring are doing necessarily. Yeah, I mean he uh of those like four guys they build high, like he he had the, the smallest role but like still a relatively important role and I mean he was good in all the scenes that he was in and uh he, he did further the story of uh of like that side of the movie because it sort of followed like four different stories yeah, um, yeah. and uh, he was an important part in that and it, it was a really uh, well done movie that made um, that subject material actually like interesting yeah, and yeah. entertaining not, to watch not boring for people yeah yeah and Adam McKay won an Oscar for his writing so that was pretty exciting and um, then I, I really like the scene where uh, the aging guy at the airport is coming up the elevator oh, with yeah. the uh the mask on, and he also has one, and they, like, both nod to each other. Yeah. Uh, it's it's funny, but also, um, it deals with, uh, important no. subjects, so. I thought it was a really well-done movie. Uh, did you see it? I never saw it. It seemed kind of boring. Was it good? Was it, like, no, interesting? Yeah, it was good. It had its funny parts, and it just made the subject interesting. Yeah. yeah. Um, I'll check that out. All right, uh, any, anything else you wanted to say about that one? All right, then, Nick, what's your next one? Um, my next one will be 12 Monkeys. That movie kind of reminds me of Fright Flight Club. It's kind of crazy, but, like, there's, it's, like, more like, like uh, how do you say it? Uh, science Fi-fi. fiction, yeah, than Fight Club. But you kind of got to watch the movie to understand what's going on. I mean, Bruce Willis and Brad Pitt, they're, uh, they're a good team, and Brad Pitt's just crazy in that movie when he's in the... Uh, have you have either you seen that? I have not. You should definitely I've see heard, that. I've heard it's pretty weird. Yeah, it, it is weird, weird, but it's good. At the end, this is a good twist. At the end, <coughs> yeah, Maybe it's good. We can uh, do acid together and watch it. We should definitely do that. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, I mean, yeah, I'm, I'll I'll probably check it out. Um, yeah, I've heard it's pretty interesting. So that's one of his one of the few Pitt, Brad Pitt movies I haven't seen. So. Yeah, I mean, what's it called? Twelve, 12 monkeys. monkeys. I gotta watch it like again. When you, say, when, you, when you say twelve monkeys to me, I just picture like the monkeys from uh, the Wizard of Oz, and like 
The Flying Monkeys? Yeah, Is that what you're referring to? Yeah, The Flying Monkeys, just like a movie about them, just like going crazy. I don't um, think so. But like, yeah. Is that what that I is? mean, I haven't seen it. No, it is. I don't, I don't really even remember saying anything about monkeys. I've only seen it once. I need to watch it again because there's a lot of stuff that happens. But it's really good. Yeah. I believe it's from the guy who made the Monty Python movies. Really? Yeah. That's kind of weird. Well, he made like some serious like sci-fi movies too. Oh, really? Too. Yeah. I didn't know that. All right. Um, I'll talk about World War Z. Um, came out a few years ago. They're actually making World War Z 2, which is like not a good title. Yeah. It sounds <laughs> kind of weird. <laughs> but, um, I mean, it was a good zombie movie. Uh, Brad Pitt, I mean, he's a star. Uh, he was really the only the only like main character in the movie there were a few uh, supporting characters who had some small roles but it had a lot of good action a lot of suspense um you really cared about him and his family so it, it was a a really well done zombie um movie and it even though world war z2 is not a good title um it probably will be a good movie because it did open itself up like for potential sequels one. Yeah. and um there's a lot more they could do in that world. So, uh, have either of you seen it? I have not. I, I have the movie and I've never seen it, but I feel like I should watch it. It looks pretty good. Yeah, I mean, if you have it, you might as well. Yeah, I mean, I just, I've seen the uh, World Wars Zimmerman on South oh, Park. Oh, that's hilarious. When <laughs> Carbon's Brad Pitt and the whole family. Yeah. I mean, that is probably the funniest. That's one of the funniest episodes that I've ever seen. Like, uh, Patient Zero. <laughs> yeah. That enough makes me want to uh, watch the movie. Yeah, I haven't seen World War Z. Or World World War Zimmerman. Um, I would suggest, but you know, every good war has its sequel. <laughs> Ask Hitler about it. <laughs> All right. Um, I, you don't have any more, did you, Michael? No, I got nothing. I'm but, all out. But you had uh, the last one. Yeah, right? uh, my last one was Inglorious Bastards, and uh, I mean that's a great movie, Quentin Tarantino, and I just love the whole like. The bear Jew and all those Jews just oh, killing all the Nazis. Just how it's like kind of flipped. How, you, how everybody thinks like the Nazis just took over the Jews and how they're just killing all the Nazis. I just thought that was really cool how they did that. And uh, Brad Pitt's great as like the leader and just his like American accent and that is just it's great. Yeah, I mean it's one of my favorite movies of all time. Oh yeah, definitely my favorite uh, Tarantino movie and my favorite Brad Pitt movie. And, yeah, he's great. He's he's really funny, like, in certain scenes, like, when uh, he's trying to be Italian. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's, that's what I was thinking. Yeah, my yeah, name yeah. is Gorlami. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. so funny. Have you seen it, Michael? Yeah, I've seen uh, most of it, but, yeah, it, it's been talked about on here numerous times. Yeah, yeah I think it's, it's just, third time. Yeah, it's just a great film. Yeah, and his accent in that movie kills me. Yeah, I mean, uh, a lot of great performances, but his, his really stands out. Um, yeah. And, I mean, it's a, it's a good, like, I, I heard that. It's a good revenge uh, film, uh, it, like, from the perspective of uh, the Jewish Americans, and a good war film, um, a great adventure. We really care about all the characters, and, I mean, it's a great movie all around. So, definitely, I think we're in agreement on that. That's all we have for you today. We ended uh, pretty early, uh, but uh, we'll be back next week. Anything else you guys wanted to say um, before we left? As always, thanks for having us. Yes. Well, Definitely want to do this again. Uh, I, I was very glad to have you guys back. This was a fun show. And next week, uh, if you saw our DC movies, we're going to be doing that with the MCU, MCU movies. Where we do a bracket. We're doing NFL playoff style to determine... What is the greatest MCU movie? So, join us next week, and as always, thanks for watching today. Um, thank you to Nick and Michael. Exactly. Um, and I hope to have you guys back soon. Until next week,